At the Mechanical Engineering Department of the Polytechnic School of Dakar, Senegal, students are designing unique generators with enough power to provide electricity in rural villages. The project started with Auto Gazelle, a solar-powered car that also serves as a generator when stationary. The original prototype was developed in 2018 in collaboration with students from Canada and Italy. Sidi Maktar Sorna, a former student, explains how this initiative evolved. At first, it was just a car, and now we have managed to get two cars. It works like the solar car and can produce energy once it stops, adapted to the rural environment, all powered by photovoltaic solar energy. We have managed to set up two station units. The students ultimately build three solar-powered charging stations for the cars that can be dismantled and transported. They supply energy up to 25 kilowatts per day, which can be used for a variety of tasks such as carpentry, blacksmithing or used to dry crops. The idea is that this unit goes to the field. The mangoes that are rotting can be turned into juice or mango paste and dried directly. As a result, we don't even need to transport the mango out of the field. The equipment is intended to reduce post-harvest losses and modernize the work of craftsmen. It also eases daily tasks for women like Mamdiarandour, who is a member of an agricultural cooperative that helps other women in the community sell products. We used to get up at 4 a.m. to wash and spread the millet in the sun for five days, exposing it to dust. It's very tiring, but with this solar-powered machine, we only need a few minutes and very little effort to get a very good result. In in Senegal, there are 500 villages without electricity. Why is that? Because the energy company can't run cables for just 25 or 30 people. And if the village isn't electrified, the telecom company won't put an antenna in that village. Magetsisse says it costs around $16,000, 10 million CFA francs, to build three stations capable of supplying electricity to a village. He says he wants to develop training courses so artisans can themselves develop gazelle villages throughout the region. Alison Fernandez, VOA Africa, Dakar, Senegal.